John, Kathy, it's one of those stories we have a personal connection with. More than a decade ago, we reported on a local milling operation hit by fire. At the time, it looked like the end of that business. Turns out our story helped it rise from the ashes. And tonight, we find out whatever happened to Bob's Red Mill. It had become an institution, an old world milling operation customers loved and which supplied most of the Northwest whole grain products. But 12 years ago, an arson caused fire, ground things to a halt, and owner Bob Moore told us he was ready to call it quits. We really have crisscrossed between Chuck and the whole thing, and, and uh, I don't know. I really don't know, Paul. Back then, Bob showed us one of his beloved millstones, at the time thought to be a casualty of the fire, but you ought to see it now. That's the very mill that went through that fire, Paul. Amazingly, grain had spilled over the millstone, saving it from the flames, and today in Milwaukee, it runs 24 hours at Bob's Red Mill Natural Foods. Turns out, after he watched our original news story on the loss of his business, Bob realized he had to start over. The mill was really a part of the community, and it, it needs to remain that way, and I just, I, I couldn't help it. I just, I, I stayed with it. And it's paid off. Bob's Red Mill is now the nation's largest producer of stone ground whole grain foods. And Bob Moore, who got into this out of his love of machinery and his wife Charlie's passion for whole grains, now manufactures mills for use by bakeries. Paul, it's unbelievable. It really is. He says hard work, a supportive spouse, good employees, and a banker willing to hang in during the lean years made it happen. Bob's Red Mill is one of only two operations like it left in Oregon. There used to be 187. It was at this mill in Dufer where Bob got the millstone, which survived the fire that nearly wiped him out. And at this very moment, it's happily grinding away. This is a classic story of how America works when everything works right. The bottom line on why Bob's Red Mill does so well, diversity. The company, which almost died, now offers 400 products to its customers, and not even the biggest mills do that. If there's a story or person you've always wondered whatever happened to, let us know. Email me here at the station. The address is paul at katu.com. Tomorrow, whatever happened to the dog dumped out of a moving car during a police chase in Vancouver? Kathy, John.